I still don't believe that he should be suspended. I disagree with the ruling, Skip. I don't believe he, he intentionally hit him in the face. And talking to my friends, they were like, Sharp, you know, sometimes you can have a dirty play and the player not be dirty. You okay, say, that's fair. <laughs> I'll buy that. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. And they said, man, you need to look at it from this point. I don't believe LeBron is dirty either, but that was a dirty play. I'm okay. like, oh, okay, bro, I'm not going to change your mind. You're not going to change mine. But this is what I will feel. Skip, Skip, I feel very comfortable saying this. I believe had Isaiah Stewart not reacted the way he did, I don't believe either player would have been suspended. I think it was the reaction because it says LeBron caused an incident. So I believe had Isaiah Stewart like, damn, bro, I can't believe you did that. LeBron explained the situation, bro, because it's being reported that LeBron did try to get his phone number, did try to reach out to him and say, bro, I apologize. That was not my intent. We were hand fighting. I'm trying to get your hands off me. You're trying to get position. I'm trying to jog it for position. And I accidentally got up too high and I hit you in the face. I apologize. So that was reported. Shams reported that that was the case. So for me, Skip, I don't believe LeBron would have been suspended had Isaiah Stewart reacted the way he did. One he took it to that level, you know, and, and, and they said he recklessly. Well, Skip, anybody that hits somebody upside the head, anytime you go above the neck and shoulder area, that could be deemed reckless. So how, so basically what they're trying to do is they're trying to legislate intent. They're saying, we believe LeBron James intentionally hit this man in they his face. They are saying that. That's what Absolutely. Right. So because anytime you get a flagrant two, Skip, it could be, it's reckless. That's why you gave it a regular, uh, 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 a flagrant two. But it ejected. could be accidental or not accidental. If it's flagrant two, it could go either way but, in, during the game. But how about this? But you're not going to get suspended unless they think it was not an accident. Right. And yeah. that's my point. Because reckless is reckless whether you intended to do it or not. The term reckless means you were reckless. Okay. So for me, Skip, it doesn't, it doesn't change my view on this situation. I don't think LeBron James should have been suspended, given his history. Had he had a history, had this be a reoccurring theme, but I get it, Skip. I guess the NBA is saying we have to judge each incident on its individual merit. Yes, he doesn't have a history, but this rolls to the level of so egregious that we have no choice. Isaiah Stewart, what he did, I, I knew he was going to get suspended because he didn't leave the court in a timely manner. And they always say that such and such got suspended one game because he didn't leave the court in a timely manner. So I knew Stewart. I'm a little surprised that LeBron got suspended, but it doesn't change my view of the situation. OK, I told you and Chris Broussard again and again and again and again in yesterday's show should be suspended. I said for two games and that Isaiah should get three games. Right. And it wound up one they split to the two. Difference. And I would like to say, first of all, hooray for the NBA. I dared them to go ahead and suspend the king ahead of his one and only visit to the Mecca of basketball, yeah. Madison Square Garden tonight Got versus Knicks. A lot of mad Knicks. fans, Skip. A lot of mad fans <laughs> because this was big of the NBA to do, but I believe they felt backed completely into the corner because I believe they saw this play exactly the way I saw this play. So they effectively had to cut off their nose to spite their face mm -hmm. just to maintain their credibility that we are not going to back down to the king. We don't care about the reports that he, to me, it was just a PR play or ploy, that it got leaked to Shams, that LeBron did try to find his number to call him and apologize. Again, they were attempting to derail any possible suspension. And the NBA said, we don't care. The act was the act. Can I ask you a question? Could LeBron be serious? Could he have good intention could. of reaching out? Why is it always we automatically assume that somebody's doing this? It's all because of PR. Although, knowing LeBron and his power in this league, if he wanted Isaiah Stewart's phone number, I think he could get it in about 32 seconds. But that's the thing, Skip. Okay. He, he tried to get the number. Well, but why didn't he call him? I don't, I don't really understand the report. If he tried, then he should have succeeded, right? Ma'am, I mean, in that situation, like, nah, bro, the we don't feel The report was he was looking for the number, searching right. for the number. Right. Okay, whatever. The point is, the NBA said, we don't care. Now, back to what I said yesterday. I'm going to repeat it all. There was nothing accidental about what I saw. 
it was clearly intentional as I saw it. It was, as Scott Foster, the head referee, said, a hostile act. It was a dirty play by a player who has no reputation for being dirty, but it was a dirty play. It was a cheap shot. LeBron took a look at him. He's looking at him, and he draws back, and he balls or closes his fist, and he leads with his elbow. He fires on him, and I still believe the elbow, it's almost quicker than the eye, catches Isaiah Stewart in the soft tissue above your eye, which is eminently cuttable, as we know from boxing, mm -hmm. and he split it open, required five stitches, and he continued through with the momentum of the blow, and he caught him with a forearm shiver across the face, and then with the back of the bald mm -hmm. fist, he caught him in the mouth. Right. It's just a shot to the face. You, I, I, I could talk the rest of the day. We could talk Dr. Freud, Dr. Phil, Dr. Ruth. I don't know what got into LeBron at that moment. Was it just pure frustration? Was the kid just getting on his nerves? He's 20 years of age, and he just plays his tail off, but he plays a little over the edge, over emotionally. And we get all that, and they were down 12 mid-third quarter, and the handwriting was already all over the arena walls. It looked like they were about to go down to another <clears throat> defeat that would have dropped them to 8 and 10. Well, Skip, this is where I'm going to disagree. The one thing that we've seen over LeBron is that he does not get out of character no matter what the situation he doesn't do anything there have been times that lebron okay. has been down and he could have reacted in a negative manner I and he didn't do that utterly concur <clears throat> but something snapped it just took a flashpoint moment a split second of frustration and it boiled over and he lost it for just a split second and he smacked him good right in the face and it knocked isaiah stewart to the floor he went down on his knee yeah. And he gathered himself for a second, and he stood up, and he said, you did that to me? And it took a second for it all to sink in. And LeBron's coming up to him like, bro, I didn't, I didn't mean it. You know, right. like I, I did. And, and again, deep down, I think LeBron was as horrified as Isaiah was shocked. Right. I think LeBron was horrified. I did that? What right. am I doing? Right. What, what happened? Right. I just snapped. I, I got to I gotta try no, to I don't clean think this up. I think, think what huh? he did is that he's trying to get his hands that, off of him. And he, you know... It happens. At the free throw line, there's a lot of jockeying for position. And that's one of the things, Skip, you remember <clears throat> back in the 70s and the 80s, guys grabbed the rebounds, and the first thing they do, they put the ball here, and it was clearing space. Now they don't allow you to do that because you, you can't <laughs> throw bows. <laughs> you, they you, would you knock your teeth. You can't clear out space by throwing right. bows. You can't because that's not teeth out. That's uh, Dikembe Mutombo okay. was notorious okay. for that. I, I, I got it. <laughs> so they're jostling, but usually when you're jostling, it's more hand fighting below the neckline. Right. And every once in a while, as you're trying to disengage, right. as you're trying to go up court, right. because the free throw had been made, right. you, you sort of flail backwards right. and you accidentally hit said victim in the face right okay it's usually with an open hand mm -hmm. and you just smack him accidentally in the mouth or whatever and i get that but this didn't have that appearance because he had disengaged and he looks at him and he fires on him that skip. that's different skip, to it me. Was, skip it was split second you make it seem like he looked oh this okay, i'm Stewart. slowing and, it way down i'm yeah, slowing it way down do but it. he did look at him and he did fire on him skip. i don't care what you say if you slow it down yeah. and look at it for what it is that's what happened skip. yes if you run everything frame by frame absolutely okay. but but he pulled it off so quickly it, it was pretty slick on because LeBron's it was shot. quick yeah it was, it, it was so quick that when I saw the first replay in live action, as I'm watching the Laker telecast here locally yes. on Sunday, it's right in the thick of obviously all the NFL games. I think you were also watching yes, at that yes, point. Yes, yes, And the first replay I saw, I, I couldn't see what had happened. And then all of a sudden, they're talking about it, and they haven't gone to any other views of it. Right. And he's quickly ejected, and I'm thinking, what just happened? Well, I, well Skip, I saw it in real time. I said, LeBron caught him in the face. I, I can just I, I, I can tell the way the, I can tell the way the guy reacted, Skip. I was like, LeBron caught him up high. Now I didn't know I, I, I didn't know if he caught him with an elbow or his hand or what, but I can tell the way the guy reacted. Because you know, Skip, you know a lot of times guys be flopping. But that wasn't a flop. He he actually got caught. And I believe, Skip, look, this was dramatic. When you slow it down, you get the dramatic effect. We've all seen that, Gio. They when when the animal in the when the, the uh, animal, the predator is chasing the prey, they slow it down. They give you slow motion, frame by frame, and it gets so dramatic. Mm -hmm. But in actuality, it's happening a lot faster oh. than that. I believe it skip, it was a split second. Well, if you slow it frame by frame, oh, one thousandth of a second. 
Yeah, you're gonna get that like LeBron actually look, but it was like all in one motion. But when you slow it down, it looks like LeBron is like, Okay, but what did Scott Foster do? He took one look. I'm, I'm telling you, this was inside yes. of a minute. He said, hostile act, you are ejected. Yes, yes. LeBron James is ejected for only the second time in his mm -hmm. career. I was shocked right. by that until I got to see the slow-mo of that one, especially the overhead just shows it, and he cold-cocked it. Yeah. And he split his eye open, and he bloodied his, his mouth yeah. a little bit, and he so good. he got him good. So he, here's my point about reputation. I don't care if Mother Teresa is out there playing. If she suddenly loses it for a second and smacks somebody in the face, she's gone and she's suspended. Skip. I don't care. And she does, she Skip. has no Skip. history of this. Skip, he didn't lose it. Skip, they're fighting for position. And the thing is, you say it's a made basket. Well, if it's a made basket, why is Isaiah Stewart fighting for position? You said LeBron James should have been fighting for position on well, the main I mean, basket. You're fighting until it swishes, and then then you give it oh, up. Okay, right? that, but yeah. that's what happens. Skip, they're fighting till it swishes. And what's funny? It was a two-on-one fight because Melo's down low. The, well, uh, D, that was D. I think DeAndre Jordan is on the same side okay, as LeBron. Uh, DeAndre, so it's okay. DeAndre Jordan, I was Stewart, it was LeBron Mello fighting with him but, on but, the other side. Okay, Melo's on the other side, but but they've got it, it's like a two v one thing where he's boxed in the middle, right? Okay. And see, the thing is, he has one hand on DJ's back, and he's trying, yeah, right, to, hold, right. trying to hold LeBron off. And LeBron's like, bro, get off of me. And it's just like, Skip, it's just like, bro, get off. No, and you would call him just it, like it that. It didn't come across like that to me. He had a split second of premeditation oh where God. you look and you fire. It's like your friends type tried to tell you, not a dirty player, but a dirty play from not a dirty player. Right. It's just a dirty play. It, it's one that anybody else, if his name is Joe James, you, you're, you're just going to suspend him but for at least is, a game. Let me ask you a question. If it's any other player, is Isaiah Stewart having that same reaction? I think it's because it was LeBron James and because LeBron doesn't have a history. He's like, oh, bro, because you X, Y, Z in this league and here I am a young and up-and-comer, you think you can do this to me? If it's any other player, I think that Isaiah swings on him immediately. That's what I think, because Isaiah Stewart boxed competitively when he was in high school. Mm -hmm. So I, I think he's got some bad intentions well, I, I, in him. Well, I, I think he's skilled with his fists, yeah. and I think he would be quick with his fists. And if you did that to him, I think he would retaliate immediately. But you said, well, why didn't he retaliate when they went face-to-face -face for a second? Man, because to lose that he kind of was money. dumbfounded. That, that LeBron James, the face of the league, just did that to me. And, again, he, he grew up probably loving LeBron or right. at least looking up to LeBron. Mm -hmm. I don't know if he loved him or not. Right. But, but he's looking him right in the face like, wait a second, you have no reputation for that? And yeah. you just did that to so me? The, so that and the more it sank in, then he went raging bull. And it took 10 minutes to, to sort of but get should, a hold of it. But shouldn't that go to it, Skip? Character, reputation has a lot to do with it. He has no history. He has no reputation of doing said incident. And all of a sudden, out of the blue, this happens. I mean, we, we've never seen LeBron do anything like nope. this. But so he did it. He, and I, Skip, I'm not denying that it happened. Okay. But what you're trying to say is that he intentionally did it. That's, this uh, is, I, I this definitely is, think This is where you and I separate. Okay, okay, well, the league is on my side. Yeah, but the, the league is... The, the league is I, I don't know necessarily if you want to always be with the league because I know another guy that got suspended... So we, we're going to talk about that a little later. Okay. But I, 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 disagree, I disagree with this suspension. Given the fact of his history, there is no history of this, and I believe it was accidental. That doesn't do it. Isaiah Stewart still has five to eight stitches, whether it was intentional or accidental. The, the stitches are legit. Those are real. And so the, the guy that caused those stitches are LeBron James. I believe he should have been ejected. If they gave him a $100,000 fine, just like they did uh, uh, where they suspended, they suspended Yoke because they said Yoke had time to think about what he was going to do, and he shoved him in the back. Mm. They gave him a flag flagrant two, and they, they suspended him for the next game. But for me, nah, given, the, given LeBron's history, and I believe it was accidental, it still doesn't excuse the act. I don't think he should have been suspended. All right. I definitely do. And my final thought on this is, I wonder if all those Lakers who, after that game on Sunday evening, gloated about how they had turned their season around, inspired by the fact that Isaiah Stewart went at, wrongly went after LeBron James and they had to defend their man against yeah, the yeah. raging bull who yeah. was Isaiah Stewart, the yeah. out-of-control yeah. maniac yeah. who was Isaiah Stewart. 
quote after quote. We're going to talk about some of them later from mm -hmm. Carmelo. But Frank Vogel saying this is the kind of incident that, that's the flashpoint you look back on. It turned our season right. around. I wonder if they feel differently now that they have been able to let this sink in. He just got suspended yeah. for the incident okay. that, that we looked on as a big positive for us. Well, so you got inspired by LeBron's <laughs> cheap shot? Well, whatever the case may be, that's my teammate. And we're going to ride with okay, it. Okay, I got so that. So I don't care. I don't care what. I don't care. We're going to ride with my teammate. Mm. That's not going to. Whatever y'all thought was going to go down, that's not happening if I'm on that team. Mm -hmm. All the teams that I've been on, be it high school, be it college, be it the NFL, he might have been wrong. I don't believe, Le I don't believe LeBron James intentionally did it. But ain't, gonna, ain't nobody firing on nobody. That ain't going to go down like that. I, I wonder if some of those guys took second, third, fifth, eighth, ninth looks at that and said, you know what, LeBron just took a shot and got him right in the face. Yeah, he and did. I wonder if they felt worse about no, it instead they of did better not. about it. They did not. They mm. did not mm. because it was accidental. Mm. They, nobody on that team believed that LeBron James did that at, intentionally, mm. that he deliberately says, you know what, Okay, I'm, I got you. We, we've been fighting the whole game. I got something for you. Mm. It's not like a situation. So you we, think they all think that the NBA wrongly suspended their man LeBron? Yes. Okay, I don't believe that. Yes. There, there's too much high IQ in that locker room. Skip, it can be high IQ and believe it was an accident and to believe that it didn't warrant a suspension. Skip, we've seen situations where guys keep doing things and then later in the ball game, a guy sets a hard foul and they get, get up out of here. Skip, that wasn't bad. I don't even know if they had it had any contact mm. prior to that situation in the game. Mm. I mean, I'd have to go back and rewatch the game and see if LeBron beat him to the basket or they, if he boxed out LeBron or LeBron boxed him out. Mm -hmm. I think LeBron only had one rebound, mm. so it wasn't like they they've been battling for rebounds the entire day, Skip. Mm. So for me, I do not believe that LeBron teammates believe he did that intentionally and believe that it, it rose to the level mm. without intent that he should have been suspended. Mm. All I know is you can add me to your list of friends who said, not a dirty player, but a dirty play by not a dirty player. It's pretty I, simple. But that, that, the mere right? fact, the there mere, you go. The, Thank now, you. Guess what? The mere fact that they sided with you, they might not be my friends any longer. Really? Yeah, that might be a possibility. Well, it looks like I'm not your friend anymore, <laughs> right? <laughs> Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.